afternoon, everyone. We're back at a house here at the Brady the Country Club to give you a nice little cooking lesson for our seafood cioppino. So myself and my sous chef Rob, we're going to walk you through how to make this dish at home if you like. All right, and then we're going to uh, put the recipe online for you so you guys can have an actual written copy of the recipe. Relatively easy dish. So I'm going to get our saute pan nice and hot. Come over here. This is clarified butter, which is simply butter that's been melted. The milk fat has been removed from it, and the water has been removed from it. Better to saute with that. So, hot pan, hot butter. We're going to put in some garlic. Let that garlic brown a little bit. Now we're going to throw in some of these. And great tomatoes because they're going to cook down to make our broth. Now, we're going to start out our protein. We'll put four shrimp in there. Also, going to throw in four ounces of grouper. Some black mussels. We'll have a little bit more butter in there to get a little dry. We're going to get a soft shell crab. What I'm going to do with soft shell crab is I'm going to take it out, I'm going to drain it with a little flour. I'm going to put that in my pan. I'll let this cook down a little. Now as you can see those tomatoes start to soften. So what we want to do now is we want to pull our pan over. This is some white wine. We'll put some white wine in there to give it a little liquid. We glaze that pan. So in other words, we want to get everything that's stuck on the inside of this pan to come loose. That way you're not losing any of that flavor. What we have here is a mixture of clam stock and tomato. Give us a nice little tomato broth. Now what you want to do is you want to let this get covered and to cook down. Now back here in the kitchen, while we're doing the order for you guys, we do a trick. Maybe I have a second pan there that's smoking hot. Don't recommend you do that at home, but here, so that's going to speed up the cooking time. So that if we can get this out to your table much quicker. But at home, you would just let this cook down in the first pan. So now we want to go ahead and season it. So what I have here is I have some fresh oregano. Put in my fresh oregano. I have coarse brown black pepper. I don't go too heavy on salt when I have kosher salt. I go light on the salt because you have the saltiness in the clam stock and also in the mussels. So your seafood is pretty much cooked in there. You have all that lovely broth. What you want to do. We're going to get some chunks of whole butter to the table. We're going to put them in some flour. And you're going to knead that together. 
that it could get them equal parts of flour and butter. That's going to do. That's going to thicken your your broth. Now your broth went from being very thin, and the more you add, the thicker it's going to get. You don't want this broth to be too thick. You just want it to have enough to not pay over your pasta or coat your pasta. So, this is pretty much ready to go. I'll pull it off the heat for a second. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to grab our capellini. I'm going to drop it back here in a basket of hot water to heat that capellini up. Move this back over on the burner. Over. Notice I'm not using any kind of tops or anything with my capillary because I don't want to break that pasta up. I can use tops to move it into the center of the dish. Now we're going to plate this up, so we'll try to make it look a little pretty. Putting our shrimp around the outer edge with the tail facing outward. That is so people see that tail and they know that it has to come off the shrimp. They don't accidentally bite right into the shrimp and not realize there's still the tail section on there. around the edge because there again you have a shell that you have to discard before eating. Then we got our nice pieces of grouper. I like to mix them around. And finally our soft shell crab that's in here. He's going to come out and he's going to be the centerpiece of the plate. Now, take notice. This is what you brought. Now with that butter and flour as a cooked down tomatoes. See, it's nice and creamy. Don't worry about putting too much broth in the bowl. For the simple fact, it's also good. I'm going to clean the edge of the bowl. And to take care of that extra broth in the bowl, we like to serve these with some rosemary pastinis so that when you're done, you sop them all that good broth that's laying in the bottom of the bowl. Finally, we're going to hit it with some fresh Italian parsley. Just a little bit of information. Regular parsley, curly parsley, has absolutely no flavor. We only use flat Italian here because that's the parsley that does have flavor and won't change the flavor of your dish. So, there it is. A seafood jambino. Quite simple and easy to make. Doesn't take much. As long as you have your piece of pasta in place, so your prep time is going to be longer than your actual cook time on this dish. We will be including the uh, recipe, so enjoy. I hope you guys have fun trying this out at home while you're sitting in your quarantines. Uh, give me something to do. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'll be more than happy to answer any questions you have. Thank you and have a wonderful day.